Many experts believe ingestion and inhaling degraded microscopic plastic particulate is the most important but largely unknown human health crisis of our lifetime. As particles infiltrate our food, water, and air, we inhale up to 22 million particles annually and ingest 5 grams of degraded plastic weekly from synthetic clothing, coffee cups, bottled water and other liquids, synthetic carpet, food containers, fish, frozen food, root vegetables and fruits, and most vehicles are 50% plastic by volume. More than 7,000 studies have shown the alarming impact on human health, including particulate found in the fetus, placenta, and infants with more particulate in them than adults, resulting in neurodevelopmental disorders like autism and ADHD. Microplastics are likely the cause behind a 79% increase in young adult cancers since 1990. A recent study found that of patients with artery blockages, 58% had plastics in their plaque, linked to a nearly five-fold increase in death, heart attack, and stroke. The health implications are profoundly concerning. But how do these toxins get into our bodies? What items have the highest concentrations of particulate? Surprisingly, synthetic clothing that is washed and dried releases up to 1.2 million plastic particulates per load. Beverages in plastic bottles contain up to 240,000 fragments per liter. Takeout coffee cups shed from millions to trillions of particulate in a single cup. An estimated 15,000 synthetic carpet and vinyl flooring particles are inhaled in the home daily. Sea salt, seaweed, and seafood contain particulates from tons of plastic degrading in our oceans and food containers used for takeout, delivery, and reheating release up to 2,000 particles. Most fast food, chicken nuggets, and other kid food products contain thousands of nanoplastics per meal, including in fruits such as apples with 200,000 plastic particles per gram, and vegetables like broccoli and carrots with 100,000 microplastics per gram. The plastic is entering our food system and then our bodies from astronomical tons of plastic that are now decomposing into our soil. There seems to be no end. A Cornell University study recently found human ingestion of microplastics is six times higher than in the 1990s, all due to the plastic we buy and toss. Global production of plastic was 460 million tons in 2019. It is expected to quadruple to 1 trillion 840 million tons by 2050. But there are ways to significantly reduce your ingestion and inhalation of plastic particulate. Wear more natural fiber clothing and less washing and drying of synthetic clothing. Use a reusable metal water bottle, stop buying bottled water, and bring a cup from home instead of a disposable coffee cup. Consider hardwood or tile flooring instead of highly toxic laminate or synthetic carpet. Find alternatives to seafood and cook with spices that are high in antioxidants. Avoid plastic and foam containers at home and in restaurants. Use uncoated paperboard, glass, or stainless steel. Or at least ask restaurants to line the container with aluminum foil. Find unpackaged produce and cook at home more often than ordering takeout until plastic, Plastic-coated and foam containers are no longer used in restaurants. Eat foods that are high in antioxidants and replace plastic items throughout your home. And as an antioxidant, coenzyme Q10 may help prevent cancer from developing. Hot cars emit toxic chemicals that disrupt endocrine function brain development and induce toxicity in organs. Roll down windows before driving and don't leave personal plastic items that degrade in hot temperatures, including sports equipment and yoga mats. It's important to replace items without plastic to make our coffee, store our food, the clothing we wear, the beverages we drink, and the tools we cook with, and to be aware that 90% of the world's new toys are fully plastic or include some form of it, with nearly 80% of all toys ending up in landfills, incinerators, or the ocean, many of them toxic to children, making it more important than ever to purchase non-plastic toys and gifts such as books, wooden toys, things to paint, bake, wear, or experience. Whether we ingest more or less than a credit card's worth of plastic each week, we should not be ingesting any plastic particulate at all. Please share this important knowledge with your loved ones.